When we can't find any peace, there's something wrong. And many of us feel the pain of not having peace. But I want to read a scripture to you. And I pray that it ministers to you and it touches your heart. And it's found in 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 9 and 10. And it reads like this. The Lord isn't really being slow about his promise. As some people think, no, he is being patient for your sake. He does not want anyone to be destroyed, but he wants everyone to repent. But the day of the Lord will come as unexpectedly as a thief. Then the heavens will pass away with a terrible noise, and the very elements themselves will be destroyed in fire, and the earth and everything on it will be found to deserve judgment you know God is giving each and every one of us an opportunity to make things right with him right now and there are many of us here today that know it and yet we do nothing about it the coming of the Lord is upon us the judgment of God is also upon us as well so my friend I ask you this question what are you waiting for? Why haven't you made the decision to repent and come to the Lord? Is it better to live in agony? Is it better to live in misery and in pain? All it takes is for one person to just simply say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. I am ready to change and I'm ready to do what is right. But those words are so difficult to believe and obey ourselves. Even though we know that this day is approaching us, even though this day can happen right now, we still won't do it. So I want to encourage you today that whatever you think is holding you back, Whatever you think could be important in your life, it's not that important. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and yet lose his soul? The promises of God are there and they will always remain. But that day of his coming is slowly approaching. The question is, Will you be ready when that time comes?